All right, time to bring Prisma into the mix. Now, what is Prisma? Prisma is an ORM, Object Relational Mapper, I think, if I'm not wrong. But why the fuck do we need Prisma? The reason why we need Prisma is because working with databases is a pain in the ass, okay? And there is always a different ORM, like, for example, Type ORM, or the Django ORM, or SQLize, or Objection, like there are many, many of them, all right? And this is something that um, should be fixed because then you have to, like, you have to learn a special ORM. The cool thing with this is that Prisma allows you to create your, um, the model of your application, the model of your data in GraphQL, and then Prisma will understand it, right? It will understand it and automatically give you something like this like that, immediately, it's awesome. So for example, if you define this, for example, look at that, define your data model, type user ID unique, email string, blah, 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 type post ID unique, created at whatever, like this, Prisma will understand it, and then you will be able to do something like this. Amazing, no? I know, it's super cool. So, to, Start with Prisma. All you have to do is sign in first. I think I'm already signed in. Shit. Um, you can just log in with GitHub, I guess. Yeah, I already have an account, so it's gonna annoy you a little bit. Let me delete this service. Um, let me just, because I was making a test for this course here. Come on, bad boy. All right. And here, what we're go you're gonna do is you're gonna say, create an example service. Okay, boop. Create an example service. And this will guide us through the installation. So now you can be your next, view the example. What? No. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Just do add a service, sorry, add a service. So we're going to install Prisma globally or with MPX. I usually use MPX and then we're gonna copy this Prisma login, this bullshit. So let's copy and here or here, you can just press copy Prisma login. Okay, that will log you in. And then this, is the, this thing says waiting for the login. So we're gonna wait for the login. And here it says successfully authenticated create a new service, click. And here I have to run Prisma init hello world. So in this case, I'm gonna just run Prisma init. All right, and this says use existing database or create new database. I'm gonna create, use demo server here, demo server, this one, hosted demo environment. We're gonna create a real environment later, all right? And here they tell you uh, demo one or demo two. In this case, I'm gonna use demo in the US. Name of your service, Prismagram. Stage, development, JavaScript client, uh, done. Awesome, now as you can see here, it says generated. You see, all right. Now I want you to hide this from GitHub. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna say, generated ha, it's gonna be all right from github bye bye okay and this is our data model and now for example here we have an we have a big example already of how it looks user and this is how you make a data model done simple now how can you put this data model on prisma all you have to do is do prisma deploy and it will deploy everything to your Prisma account automatically. Look, it's doing everything for you. Applying changes, everything. Just let me update this bullshit. And now it says service successfully deployed, view the service. And if we look at the service,
Come on. Jesus. There you go. Look at that. Prismagram. How cool. Now, if we click on Prismagram, already know that we have something called users. And we create, you can create a user with the ID we shouldn't touch and the name. Now, let me show you what happens if I do, for example, last name like this. All right, just as an example. And I run Prisma deploy. But this bitch is updating. Uh, almost there. Come on. Jesus, I will out. Okay. Prisma again. Deploy. It will deploy the service, blah, blah, blah. And automatically, I just updated you. Fuck me. Automatically, if I come here and refresh the Prisma console and I create a node, look at that. It comes, sorry, it comes already with ID, last name, and the name. How cool is that? Automatically, only by doing data model and then Prisma deploy. And this is how you have an admin panel for yourself. How cool is this? Ah, huh? amazing. See you in the next video. Bye bye.